Microreflections, also known as reflections or echoes, are a type of impairment and a class of impairments known as linear distortions. Microreflections must be taken seriously and addressed in an HFC plant. They can cause standing waves and group delay. This means the cable modem will be unable to attain or maintain the levels requested by the CMTS for a specific modulation profile on a particular upstream, and the modem will only be able to connect, if at all, on a reduced modulation profile. Microreflections are caused by an impedance mismatch in the cable plant. In an ideal plant, the signal source, the cable, whether coax or fiber, and the load, such as an amplifier, should have the same impedance. When this condition exists, all incident energy from the source is absorbed by the load, excluding any energy lost by attenuation in the transmission medium from taps, filters, splitters, etc. Anomalous impedance on a cable plant is 75 ohms, which is the impedance of the coaxial cable used. In the real world of cable networks, some variation in impedance is to be expected. Impedance mismatches are everywhere, even in the cleanest of plants. Every connector, splice, passive, active, and even the cable itself can present an opportunity for an impedance mismatch, which can cause a linear distortion and thus be a source of microreflections. When we have an impedance mismatch on the HFC plant, some or all of the signal wave will be reflected by the mismatch and directed back to the source. For example, as a signal travels upstream from a cable modem to the CMTS, it may encounter an impairment, such as a corroded connector. Usually, most of the upstream signal will pass through the impairment and continue toward the CMTS, but a fraction of the signal will be reflected back to the source in the form of a microreflection, heading in the opposite direction the signal should be traveling. This reflected signal may encounter a second reflection point downstream, such as another impairment or an active device like an amplifier. That reflection is reflected back toward the CMTS, where it encounters the original reflection point, causing another microreflection back downstream, and so on. This creates an echo cavity over the length of the cable between the two reflection points. Some common sources of microreflections in the HFC plant are nodes without seizure screws or rusted seizure screws, faulty terminators, bad F connectors, hand tightened connections on amplifiers, oxidation on splitters and taps, bad splices overdriven drop amplifiers or line extenders, damaged or missing ends on line terminators or chassis terminators on directional couplers, feeder taps, unused amplifier ports and splitters, including devices at the customer location, kinked, damaged, or cracked cables, and traps and filters on the upstream, especially data-only filters. <laughs>